This is your last Tuesday of the school year, Vikes. I caught up with a few teachers who won't be here this fall and a vaping issue story. And I asked some students to recap what they did this school year. I'm Kara. And I'm Addison, and SVTV starts now. A few well-known teachers are leaving at the end of the school year. Let's go see who they are. Some CME teachers will be leaving next year for a new opportunity. It's good news, but it's also sad. I, um, I received an orchestra director job, the head orchestra director at Lawrence High School. And um, my wife and I are expecting our first baby. I am not pregnant. Please, no, I'm not pregnant, but she is. And, um, and so I'm going to be a new mom. And so I, I wanted to move closer to home and um, to be able to have a job in the district where I teach. And in Lawrence, jobs like that, especially for orchestra, don't come open very often. So I kind of had to take, take the opportunity as it presented itself. Um, next year, I took a position at Jefferson West Middle School where I'm going to be the um, five through eight school counselor. Um, my husband got a job in Kansas City um, doing what he absolutely loves. And he's been working his butt off for Oh my gosh, 10 years, like in college level or higher um, work to get to this point. And so, you know, when the opportunity came, he had to take it. And um, so it's on the Missouri side of Kansas City. Uh, and we looked for every possible way that I could commute and we just couldn't make it work, especially not with Zoe, our three month old. Uh, I have a great opportunity over at Topeka West to uh, teach some students there that need a little stability and a little direction. And so, kind of like Mary Poppins, the kids here are doing well, so it's my turn to pop in somewhere else. The teachers leaving will miss many things. They also have many memories from teaching here. It's probably the staff because um, these people have just become my family. I've been here for the past eight years. and. Um, and they're more than just colleagues. They're really family. We've gone through a lot of ups and downs together and they make me laugh every day and I know they care about me and... Um, everything, but m mostly I'm gonna miss the people. I'm gonna miss the students and the staff members and the faculty and, and everybody that I had a chance to build a relationship with. I'm gonna miss the kids. Um, literally my favorite people are the ones that are in my class. I love each and every one of them and that's the hardest part about leaving. I'm gonna miss a lot of the memories I have from working here. That's made a lot of connections with a lot of people and that's really hard to leave. I would say uh, my favorite memory was probably taking my students to Branson uh, for our first trip because I, it gave me a chance to be like their overnight mom and uh, just had a lot of fun in Branson and just sort of uh, touring and traveling with them and I mean way too many shenanigans were had but I that, that's probably my, one of my favorite memories. Well there's so many memories. Uh, just the little inside jokes um, the way that we interact in class, the way that the kids know when I say this one time in Germany that there's going to be some random story about me doing something probably pretty stupid. I think one of my favorite memories is going to be um, coaching or, or the field trips. So for, for anything that you do extracurricular with kids, you kind of get to see or interact with them in a whole different way because there's not that like pressure, okay, you have to pay attention to me and learn something right now. It's more like an opportunity of, hey, here's a different way I can get to know you and you build some really awesome relationships that way. Um, with coaching, my cross country girls, they threw me a baby shower this year. That was a surprise and that like meant the world to me. And uh, my jumpers, we've got a weird and awesome tight knit group that's just, I love them. It's going to be hard to leave them too. We've got a whole bunch of different memories. Um, all of the time that Mr. Pierce and I and Miss Dinkle and Foxhoven have played like baseball in the hallway. All the teachers leaving have only taught at Seaman and have learned much from their time here. I know about teaching everything like as far as what I've been able to do um, in my classroom as far as like project-based learning to like no tests and quizzes to um, just in general how I teach today is because of being here. And that's, I mean, how do you say thank you for something like that? There, there is no like, there's no way for me to verbally convey the amount of gratitude I have except to try and say thanks. 
basically where I started my career. So who I am as a teacher and as I am a man uh, is all because of these kids. I've really come a long way. I would say maybe the, the biggest thing that I've taken away is the importance of relationships with kids. In the beginning, I think as a new teacher, you're just trying to get the standards covered and focused on the academics and get through the book and all of that. And um, the time that I've been here, I've realized that you're gonna get a lot further with kids and the academics if the relationships are formed first. Um, I would say the biggest thing that I took out from teaching here is that um, at the end of the day, it's not what we teach that's important. It's about building those relationships with students and making sure that you're helping people uh, grow into the best person they can be. All the teachers will be missed. Good luck next year at your new schools. I'm going to miss the teachers that are leaving next year. Yeah, I'm definitely going to miss Mrs. Popescu. Now for your daily news. 9th through 11th grade students will check in their laptops from May 22nd to the 24th after completing their last final that uses technology. Turn in your overdue library books. Books not returned will be charged to your Power School account. If you want a Topeka Public Library card, stop by the library and fill out a form, and the library will make sure you get one. The Topeka Youth Project is sponsoring a summer internship program this summer. Please see Mrs. Noble in room C4 if you're interested. Strength and conditioning forms are still available. See Mrs. Schaefer in W6 if interested. The SHS Library will allow you to check out books over the summer. Stop by and pick up those books you've been wanting to read. BP at Hunters Ridge is still donating money to SHS on pumps 7 and 8. Now let's kick it on over to Madison with the sports. The end of the school year is coming up, so... We made sure to give you a little step-by-step -step process on how to go about laptop checking. Step 1. Organize desktop materials. Step two, clean your device. Step three, back up your device. Step four, remove all personal items. Step five, bring charger to check-in. And last but not least, step number six, have your laptop fully charged. Your laptop check-in will be from May 22nd through May 24th. Don't vape. Because you will get lung cancer and you will die. Don't vape in the classroom. Don't vape in the bathroom. Don't vape in the parking lot. Just don't vape. Promise? Vaping may seem harmless, but it can lead many lasting effects, such as breathing problems, bloody sores, weakened immune system, and insomnia. Majority of teens don't know that most vape contains nicotine, which can lead to a potential drug addiction. OK, everybody take some candy. No. <laughs> All girls swim and dive team members need to turn in their team backpacks to Coach Tuck before Thursday. Also, your end of the year banquet is Wednesday at the middle school. Congratulations to the following boys who qualified for state track and field championships in Wichita this coming weekend. Now let's go over to Kara to see if the weather is going to stay nice this first week of summer. What's poppin' Viking fans? It is currently 63 degrees and tonight it will actually get a little warmer with some cloud cover. For a three-day forecast, you have highs in the high 80s and lows in the high 60s. And Thursday and Friday, you're gonna have a chance of rain, so watch out for that. And today in history, it is Jennifer Goodwin's birthday and she's off of Once Upon a Time and it's National Vanilla Pudding Day. I like pudding. Now let's head back over to your anchors. Vaping and drooling is an issue at Seaman High School. There are many health effects and consequences that come with vaping. Let's go check it out.
Vaping is on the rise at Seaman High School. Almost one in three students vape. We talked to a former student at the school who vaped. So, what would you say to kids who are underage and who are vaping now? To stop. Do I see myself stopping? At some point, yes. But... Now, no. Do you think the school uh, really cracks down on vaping, or do you think they can do a better job? I don't think they really could do a better job on vaping, really. We decided to talk to Mr. Monahan to get his perspective on the vaping issue. Well, we first noticed about three years ago when vaping was a new thing, um, and then it died off for a bit, and it seems like since January of this year that it's on the increase for some reason. Mr. Monahan said that possession could result in suspension and discipline points, while use can result in a legal fine. Most are unaware that vaping contains nicotine and that it also contains many harmful toxins including toxic waste. Tyler said he started vaping his freshman year. He said the reason why he started vaping was because a lot of his friends vaped. It's trendy and maybe they are trying to, you know, be cool or, or whatever it might be. But what I would say to them is look into it. That I'm sure that it is very harmful. I know that when cigarettes first came out, nobody thought anything of it. And then later they discovered how harmful it was and it caused cancer and those types of things. So my main thing would be from a health standpoint, reconsider the use. And we just want our students to be healthy and live yeah. a good life. We talked to Tara Nolan, the tobacco control coordinator at the Kansas Academies of Family Physicians. She said that vaping damages the lungs linings and the chemicals within the juice can cause cancer. She also said that it can be even more addicting than cocaine. Studies still haven't proven how harmful vaping can be, but it's important to stay informed and be knowledgeable about what you consume. Maybe now the students here will take that story into consideration and be smarter about vaping. Yes, now let's go learn about some of the student confessions about this year. Hey Vikes, I went around to freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors to talk about their student confessions, opinions, and about their favorite parts of the year. What do you do during class or seminar when you have nothing to work on? Watch Fortnite videos. Normally just watch videos. Watch YouTube videos about cars. Usually I'm focused on trying to connect to the Wi-Fi since it's down half the time. Relatable. Uh, I'm watching that Fortnite grind, you know, trying to get better. Um, I usually just do BuzzFeed quizzes. They're fun. How do you think of the new computers this year? I think that the one-to-one -one system is a really great opportunity and a, uh, just for the students to uh, learn how uh, technology works. Yo, I love those computers. I'm always on that Fortnite grind. Whenever I get my computer at home, that's all I do is watch that Fortnite. iMovie's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty good because uh, it I can look up pictures of carrots on Google Images. Absolutely amazing. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Don't have to write a whole bunch of stuff down and just turn it in at home on school day or something. I love it. It makes everything so much easier because then like all your homework and stuff is just on your computer. Who are your favorite teachers and why? Miss Stanley. She just lets us do whatever we want sometimes, which is nice. Mr. Kromi, because he's been putting up with me for like two semesters, and he has to deal with me next year, too. My favorite teacher is probably Kevin Hoffman's, because you can't tell whether he's angry, sad, or mad, and just by the same expression. So, Mr. Braiding, because I get to hold a flaming torch in class. Uh, Mr. Wilson, because I get to play with a nail gun. Uh, Murphy's pretty great. She lets you eat her carrot sticks in class sometimes. Miss P, because she's absolutely fun. <laughs> I love Mrs. Riley, because she really cares about all of her students, and she's just really sweet. What's your favorite memory of the school year and why? Um, every single time I've roasted Mr. Tuck, which is every day, because I have him in classes on both odd and even days. I think my favorite memory by far is probably, since I'm on the swim team, swim team winning state. That was fun. I didn't think of any. Sorry. That freshman dance. I take it back. I love that memory as well. Yeah, you do. Uh, probably yesterday when Murphy let me eat her carrot sticks in class. 
I really loved going to the Nelson Atkins Museum. That was really fun. And then we got to go to Kansas City in like the plaza and just walk around and get lunch. And that was really cool. If there's one message I have for everyone taking their finals, it's to have hope. Wow, we had a lot of really good responses. Now let's head back to the studio. <laughs> wow, that was pretty funny. <laughs> good luck on the rest of your finals and have a really great day.